Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video tag request. Um, I know everyone started doing this video like months and months and months ago and I'm kind of like behind but I wasn't planning on doing this. I just got a bunch of requests to do it um, through personal messages and whatever so I decided to do it because it would be kind of fun for you guys to kind of see what I lug around every day. I apologize in advance for the crappy video and lighting situation that's going to be occurring in this video. I usually record on my MacBook in the other room, but my MacBook is acting like real weird and having some technical difficulties, so I have to take it to Apple so they can fix it. Um, so I'm recording on my iMac in my bedroom, and I could not get the lighting any better than this. Every other place that I sat, I was like completely washed out and there was a really weird glare. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Thank you guys for requesting this video and I hope you enjoyed this tag. So this is my winter purse um, this year and it is the Louis Vuitton Neo that came out with the 2010 Spring Summer Fashion Show Collection. I had originally gone to Louis Vuitton to get a different bag, but I saw this bag and I just really liked it because it had a really unique kind of design. I like the fact that it has a drawstring and I also really like the fact that it has a shoulder strap. So you can kind of wear it as a shoulder bag if you like or you can wear it as like a, a top handle like around your arm like this. Um, kind of like you would do with like a speedy or whatever. Or you can wear it on your shoulder with the strap like this. And you can also remove the strap completely if you don't want it on there. It has like a little um, clasp on both sides where you can remove it. So I fell in love with this bag and I purchased it back in like April or May uh, towards the beginning of summer and I just think it's perfect for a winter bag because it's big and it's dark and it really matches whatever you want to wear. So I really like the um, monogram canvas because I think it's really classy and it just matches a lot um, and yeah so we're gonna get started. So the first thing I have in my bag is a water, and I pretty much carry water wherever I go. I'm always drinking it. It's really great for your skin and your body, and it's just really quenching. So I carry these everywhere, in my car, in my purse, wherever I go. The next thing I have is my wallet. This is the Sarah wallet, and this particular wallet came out when Louis Vuitton released um, the big Bernice bags and all the crazy bright colors. There was like pink, orange yellow maybe and a couple other ones and they still carry this wallet but I don't think they have it in this color anymore and I actually wish I got the bag to match it because I really love this wallet and I got it monogrammed on the inside in gold I'll show you my first initial J and pretty much everything in here is just like my credit cards and my money and my receipts and you know just random things that you would keep in your wallet I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that one thing I do like about this wallet is that in the back there's like a secret pocket where you can keep either your big bills or checks that you need to cash or receipts for whatever. And I usually put like checks and receipts in that pocket. So it's kind of handy so I could just pull them out and know where they are and not have to like dig through my stuff to get to them. The next thing I have are a couple of Cliff Bars and these are in Chocolate Brownie which is my favorite flavor. These are really, really delicious and they're really handy to carry as kind of like a snack or a meal to go. I eat these a lot for breakfast in my car or if I'm hungry and just like driving or whatever because they're just really easy to carry around and they're pretty good for you. They have a lot of protein so they fill you up and they're not unhealthy or anything and they also taste really good. The next thing I have are my Marc Jacobs sunglasses which I showed in a haul and they look like this. They're just kind of weird and retro looking and I really like them right now. I also carry um, another pair of glasses in black because I like to have a brown and a black pair depending on what I'm wearing. And these are Chanel and I got these a long time ago and they're just like basic big black sunglasses and I really like these because they match pretty much obviously anything and they're really dark so they're perfect to wear while I'm driving and they just really you know, cut out all of the light and glare or whatever. The next thing I have is these makeup removing wipes. And I usually don't carry these in my purse, but I had them um, in my purse from wearing makeup a couple days ago or something. I've talked about these in a previous video that I did, like a makeup haul or something, and how much I absolutely love these. And they're great. So I do keep these in my car and I have a couple packs in my bathroom. And they're just really gentle and awesome for removing your makeup on the go. The next thing I have is baby powder. 
if you can see. It's just like a travel size um, Johnson's baby powder. And I use this literally every day. This one's almost gone right now. Um, I use this in my hair if it's like a little bit greasy because literally I only wash my hair maybe like twice a week and I take a shower every day so for all of those people who think um, that's dirty or disgusting that's fine I really don't care um, I just choose not to wash my hair frequently because of my hair type and texture and it's just really not good for your hair to wash it every day so um, whether I'm washing my hair every other day or every other other day or whatever um, I like to use this in between just you know sprinkle a little bit on areas that are a little bit oily and it will absorb the oil right up and then you can just kind of brush it out and style your hair as usual so I like to carry that the next thing I would be taking out would be my iPhone which was actually sitting right next to me on my bed because I just got a phone call right before I filmed this and for all of you guys who saw my post on Facebook my iPhone got stolen like two days ago and by a stroke of um, a miracle I got it back so won't go into detail about that but um, this is the iPhone 4, and this is actually my second iPhone 4, so I'm not even going to discuss what happened to my first one because it's just totally a bummer. The next thing I have is a really big pack of gum. Um, the next thing I have are these mini toothbrushes. Um, they're called Wisps, and they're by Colgate, or Wisp, or whatever. And I love these, and everyone makes fun of me for using them because I seriously will, like, bust them out in the most random spots. I do not even care. Um, so they come in like little packs of four. Um, you can get them in big boxes too. And I just really like them because they're like little toothbrushes on the go. So they have this little um, bead inside of them. And when you start to brush your teeth, it kind of like pops open. And you use that to kind of like freshen and brush wherever you need to. So the next thing I have is this really awkward nasal spray because I get sinus infections all the time. I think I have like a few of these. Um, yeah, here's another one. So, nasal spray forever. The next thing I have is a comb, which I, it's just like my little travel comb. And I also have this Sonia Kasha brush, which is amazing. It's like a Boris bristle brush, I think, and it's from Target. I think this is like $13, and I also have the big size of this. This is the travel one, and this is very comparable to a Mason Pearson, if you guys are familiar with those, and they're like $100. But I think this one works just as well. So I would definitely recommend this brush. It makes your hair like super shiny. And it's just the best brush ever. For $13, $14, I think it's a really, really good deal. And I would really recommend this. Let's see. The next thing I have in my purse is this scarf slash... It's kind of like a shawl. And I really like this because it's, it's like a... A really big size so you can use this for a lot of different purposes this is um, a Louis Vuitton scarf and I have a few of these I had the red one in my purse from the holidays because I thought it was kind of festive and I like how it has just like the subtle details it's kind of like little shimmery Louis Vuitton logo and I really really love how big these are so I'm gonna open it up so you can see how freaking huge that it is it's like like a blanket almost but the cool thing about these is that you can wear them in a lot of different ways and I just think it's really um, handy to carry one of these around because it doesn't take up a lot of space but it's really multi-purposeful so um, one way that I really like to fold them is I just like to match up the edges and you can kind of wrap it around like this and then you can kind of adjust it like that it's just a really nice accessory to any outfit um, so that's one way to wear them you can also use this as like a shawl because it's so big so if you're like cold and you're out either outside or inside where it's kind of cold you can kind of just like wrap it over your shoulders and let it hang like that and I think it's like a really classy way to just kind of stay warm or whatever so you can wear it like that you can also wear it obviously like you would wear any other scarf Another cute way to wear this is you can kind of just bunch it up and then find the middle and you can kind of pull it behind your head and then stick the um, other two sides through the little like loop that you've created like that and it just kind of adds like a nice accent to your outfit so it's like a really fun accessory because it can be utilized in a few different cute ways. 
The next thing I have is this Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf, which is one of my favorite scents ever. And I have a pretty extensive perfume collection, but this is one of the scents that I gravitate back towards over and over again. I've probably gone through four or five bottles of this perfume. This is the 1.7 ounce, and as you can see, it is almost gone. I'm like struggling to get the most out of this bottle. I also have the 3.4 ounce, which is the bigger bottle, but I like to keep this in my purse because it's obviously smaller, so it travels better. The next thing I have are my winter keys. Um, it's just like my key, my house key. If anyone has a Wrangler, you are all very familiar with the Jeep Wave, which is a little bogus, but won't go into that. Little coach keychain that my sister got me for Christmas like four years ago. And pepper spray, which I think it's really important for all women to carry some sort of defense mechanism with them um, at all times in their purse, simply because you just never know what's going to happen. So that's my pepper spray. It comes in a little cute pink case and it also detaches from my keychain if I need to use it which hopefully I never will need to use it but it's just um, a safety precaution so going along with that the next thing I have in my purse um, is a stun gun hopefully I will never have to use this um, but again it's just kind of a safety precaution and this is a really really good design first of all it has a case so you don't have to worry about like accidentally like tasting yourself while you're like you know holding your purse or whatever. The really cool thing about this is that if you ever were to get into some sort of a scuffle or what have you, um, your attacker wouldn't be able to take this away from you because um, the way that it's designed is that you can hold on to it and then kind of defend yourself. And then it just has a switch on the side. So don't fuck with me. Or you're gonna get tased. No, I'm just kidding. But for anyone who's interested in purchasing some sort of defense product, um, you can find them at DefendingWomen.com. And as far as stun guns and or tasers go, you really have to be aware of the legalities because they are illegal in a lot of different cities and states. So before investing in one, just make sure you're aware of that so obviously you don't get arrested for an illegal weapon or whatever. The next thing in my purse are my summer keys, which have a backup set um, of keys for my Jeep, and then I have my summer car as well. And this also has like a little pill fob, which is handy for carrying like ibuprofen, or if you take a daily medication. This has like a house key again too, so also if I accidentally lock myself out of my house, which has happened before, I have a spare set of keys in my purse and I don't have to like call my landlord freaking out or whatever. I also have this clip because I'm always using these to pull my hair back. The next thing I have is my Makeup Forever Camouflage Palette. Um, I think there's like three different shades of these. This is one of the best products ever as far as concealers go. So I carry this wherever I go. Um, I don't really carry that much makeup because I don't really wear a lot of makeup unless I'm going out. Next thing is my eyeliner, and this is Maybelline Ultra Liner in black, and this is waterproof. This is my favorite eyeliner ever. The next thing I have are my travel scissors, and these are ginger or gang hair. I know someone tried to cor correct me on my video where I was doing the giveaway. I'm not exactly even sure how to pronounce this, but these are awesome, and as you guys know, this is like my favorite brand for scissors. And this is just my little travel pair, so it's not like I'm going to be shredding like a million t-shirts with these, but I find that I'm always needing scissors um, when I either am going out or traveling or whatever. And of course if I'm traveling for like an event, I'm going to take my full size shears, but it's just really handy to have like a little pair of scissors on you for whatever. Or if I needed to like shred up a t-shirt for whatever reason, I could do a whole shirt with these little scissors, like no problem. Um, the next thing I have are these gloves. I don't even know where I got these, but I love them because they're awesome for driving. They're just really convenient for driving or whatever, and you can still have your hands free to do whatever you need to do and not worry about, like, having these fat glove fingers where you can't, you know, do anything, and it's, like, handicapping you. So, so the next thing I have are band-aids because I'm constantly cutting myself. And a funny story about these is when I was working in Austin for Levi's at South by Southwest Festival, um, I was cutting myself like every day and they would only let me um, from the first aid stand take one band-aid at a time which was completely bogus. And this nice girl bought me an entire box of band-aids and brought them back to me which was so sweet and just really awesome. And these are the same ones so I still have them but I just really use the container. Um, I filled them up with like a bunch of different other band-aids. 
The next thing I have is hand cream, and this is just a uh, Eucerin hand cream. My hands get so dry in the winter time, so I make a really serious effort to carry and put on lotion all the time. The next thing I have is visine for contacts because I wear contact lenses and my eyes get really, really unbearably dry. I also have my iPod right here. Um, my friend AJ who works at Apple was nice enough to give this to me after I put several iPods through the washing machine because I used to like listen to it before I went to bed and then whenever I washed my sheets I would just wrap them up and my iPod suffered serious repercussions as a result. I literally went through like three, but I've been really careful with this one. So I've had this for a couple years. The next thing I have is tampons. Um, I think I have a few of them. It's a good idea to carry them to avoid a potentially embarrassing situation. Next thing I have are a variety of different lip glosses. Usually when I go out, I'll take a lip gloss that I am wearing or that matches my outfit kind of thing. So I usually like accumulate a bunch of them. So I have a MAC cream sheen, I have a MAC plush glass, and then I have NARS in Turkish Delight, which is a really nice light kind of pink color. When I accumulate like a ton of them, I'll usually go through my purse and kind of put them back, and then the cycle will just start over and everything like that. Oh, here's another one. This is Buxom by Bare Minerals, and it's just like a, a lip plumper, and it's really nice. Um, I also have a few chapsticks. I have a couple soft lips because this is like my favorite. So I have the vanilla one and then I also have the tinted one with sunscreen. I think they both have sunscreen. Yeah, they're both SPF 20. I also have Neosporin Lip Health Daily Hydration Therapy because I've been having ridiculously chapped lips um, in the winter time and this does a pretty good job of moisturizing and protecting chapped lips. I have a hair thing. And I also have a few bobby pins, which I would never go without. Just a couple bobby pins because sometimes I like to pin my bangs back so it's convenient to kind of carry them with you. I have some Tic Tacs in Fresh Mint, the white ones are my favorite. I also have some Airborne because, like I said, I get sick all the time. And my acupuncturist actually recommended this. Um... It's just like those little capsules that you dissolve in a little bit of water and drink it, and it has like zinc and a couple other things. It's not an antibiotic, and it's not like a prescription. If you catch your cold before it really progresses into a serious sickness, this will really help you out. So the last thing I have is a little scope, kind of like breath freshener little thingy. It's kind of strong. Um, so that's it. This is what the inside of my purse looks like. Um, it has just this one pocket right here, so it's not too um, complicated. So it's everything that I keep with me, and I know it's like a ton of stuff. Um, usually I have like a million receipts and like change flying around too. My purse the other day felt extremely heavy, so I kind of cleaned it out a little bit, and I found literally like $15 of change. Also, I do my laundry at a laundromat, so I have like quarters all the time, and I... I literally took all my change and my purse now weighs like five pounds less than it did. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was just kind of a fun little tag um, slash request. So I will be uploading a few more videos this week and I will be posting the contest winner to my custom painted vans contest by tomorrow because I know a lot of you have been asking about that. So stay tuned for that and for more upcoming videos and I will talk to you guys soon.